So today I'm reacting to another Dr. Phil thing, because I'm just... I really don't know why. I just like doing it. Anyway. And I usually get copyright claims really bad on these Dr. Phil things, so... Like them. <laughs> so I don't get taken. She isn't really thinking straight at all. My mom thinks it's okay to act like she's in college, but she still has to raise me. She, she goes like out friend? on dates with strangers she met online. I worry about my mom because she drinks on dates. Things could happen. My mom drinks a lot. One time when I was at a concert with my mom, she got alcohol poisoning. Me and my friend had to carry her out to the car because she couldn't even walk. Another time I was at a fair with my mom, she got drunk that day, dropped food on the ground and tried to pick it up and eat it, but I had to knock it out of her hands. When I see my mom behaving like this, it embarrasses me. Whoa, the mom, she's just like, whoa, I want some food, man. You can't just like, okay, if it's like on the New York street, that's different from like on your floor. Because like my floors are like clean. Anyway, so. This is me and it angers me. While I'm moving 3,000 miles away, she's out partying, and everybody's seen on social media. It's really unfair. When I tell my mom, she dismisses my feelings. My mom's always telling me that she needs me time. Me time is like when you're by yourself. I think by the way she behaves, she doesn't care. She forgets about me. Obviously. She's a horrible mom. She's a horrible person. And doesn't see what I'm going through. I really miss my mom mind. being my best friend. Oh, I want things to be the way they used to be. I still love her. I'm always here for her. I want my mom back. I feel everybody wants me to stay home and bake cookies. I honestly feel that. Everybody Whoa. wants me to go back to the lady who I was for 20 Man, years. Like... Catering for the kids. Catering to Tyler's career choices and follow my... Catering. She thinks cooking for her children are catering. My mama loves cooking for us. Across the country. You know, taking care of everybody's problems and responsibilities. And this is the first time in my life that I've actually she took been a break from being a mom. You cannot me. take a break being a mom, even Two when and you're and like ago after in this your all 80s. Happened, yes, I did go crazy. Yes, I had a meltdown. Yes, I had therapists say that you're pretty much in a depressive state. Yeah, I know that. And yeah, I did drink two and three bottles of wine a day. Really? And I picked myself Wait, up. There were and I got a job. Her and like. I excelled in that job. And I got myself out of it. And yeah, I still go out. And I still have fun. Because I want to experience what it's like to be 25 again. I never went to that kind of college. I didn't get to do that. I was a great mom. No, I put my not. husband and my children always first. And that's one thing that I know that they can't deny. Because I've always put them first. I've never no, denied no. that. I've always been a great mom. No, you haven't. I have two older kids that testify that I've always been a good mom. But at this point in my life, I'm rediscovering who in the hell I am. This mama. That mama. She says she's a great mom. Wow, such a wonderful mom. She's like dating like a 17-year-old from what I hear in these videos. Nikki wants to live a lavish lifestyle. To use old rich men to do it. They have the ability to take a girl out to dinner to nice places. And their card doesn't get declined. They're a safe bet. Nikki's currently dating a billionaire in his mid-60s. She says she has a strong connection with him and she sees a future with him. He is very emotionally available for me. He likes to watch out for me. She just wants somebody to be her sugar daddy. Nikki brags about her lavish lifestyle all the time on social media. Meanwhile, my husband and I are busy raising her daughter 2,000 miles away. We told Nikki that if we took her daughter, we would want $150 a month from each of them. Tyler has sent money, but Nikki tells me that she can't send money. Right now, I'm barely eating once a day, and I was just evicted out of my home. Meanwhile, Nikki's always getting her hair done, getting her nails done. This is a Facebook post about when she was at the Ritz Carlton with her sugar daddy, living the posh life. She posted, the posh lifestyle is so exhausting. That was the last straw for me. And I posted an angry message on Facebook. 
so happy to hear the posh lifestyle is exhausting for you. You don't blink an eye about accepting money for a car, hair, nails, or alcohol. But when we ask you money for a Halloween costume, you say that she has to go without. She was being selfish and putting her own needs in front of her daughters. Clearly, it's all about you, you selfish bitch. I was furious about that because this is my time to experience this. Nikki deleted the post and unfriended me. We have not spoken since. We love Nikki's daughter. She's doing so much better now, but we have been completely taken advantage of and used. All right, thank you for being here. And yes, you, you, you being here. are raising her child. Mm -hmm. Why is this your job? Well, I don't think it's our job, but uh, to a certain degree it is because we've been friends for so long that their kids have always considered us part of the family. Right. And when you see family in need, you step up and you help out. Mm -hmm. And uh, But enough's enough. I see all these posts on Facebook and nothing's been about her daughter, nothing's been about her bettering her position. It's all been about her, her, Well, well her. let's look at some of the posts that you're talking about. October 29th, the posh lifestyle is exhausting. Where are my yoga? Okay, so I had another video, but this chick is already getting on my nerves. So goodbye.